This program is proudly brought to you by the VAFA Live Official App. With live scores, team stats, player stats and much, much more. Everything you need for the VAFA in the palm of your hand. Download it from the App Store or Google Play now. Hello viewers, this is Dom from Complete Sports Management here at TH King Oval. We've witnessed a heavyweight battle between St Kevin's Old Boys and Uni Blues, where St Kevin's were victorious by 19 points. It's a real ferocious contest. I'm with uh, Uni Blues coach Heath Jamison. Heath, it was a really tough contest from both sides. There was, the pressure was, and the skill level was really on a, at a high level, and most people predict both these sides will um, feature deep into this season um, as, a, as it pans out. What do you think were the major differences between the two sides, particularly in the midfield where the game was won, and also both defensive units? Yeah, look, I thought St Kevin's ability to set up behind the ball and our inability, I suppose, to get the ball to the um, far side of the ground just really played in their hands. I think out of a stoppage early, we just kept banging it up the line. Mm. And St Kevin's um, set up really well behind the footy. We knew that they did. We didn't want to play the way we played, but, but for some reason... Um, you know, we were just feeding their addiction, I suppose, by giving the ball back to them all day. And with a side like that, you just you've got to, um, you know, you, you can't afford to play footy like that. You got to be brave and take the game on. Good thing was, I think when we did take the game on, we scored pretty heavily. So we know we've got a style that will work against a, a team like this. But yeah, to, to to just give the ball back all day, which we did, is pretty disappointing. There's been a few games this season where you have gotten off to a slow start in, in, the, in the past and you have been able to get back the, to the game on your turns and ultimately win those games. Today was different. They were, St Kevin's were able to get to a five-goal lead and you were able to get it back to pretty much dead even, but unfortunately today's result didn't go the way that you would have hoped. What do you think was the difference in today's result in other results where you were able to get over the line? Oh, it's just a quality of side I think that you're playing against. You know, you you give a slow start to a side like um, St Kevin's, you can't get back into the game, you know, and you you work hard to get back into it and it probably takes a little bit off your late. So, you know, we, we've got to fix our starts. They're an issue at the moment. Um, yeah, um, you don't get found out, I suppose. Um, the last couple of weeks we haven't been found out, but, but today against a side that you give them some sort of advantage, they'll take it. That's what good sides do, and St Kevin's are the benchmark. You know, they've got what we all are striving to get. Yep. So, um, yeah, we've given the best side in the competition, I suppose, a, a bit of a head start, and to fight your way back's probably not going to work against them. Yeah, as you mentioned, St Kevin's are back-to-back -back premiers going for um, a potential third premiership in their eyes. Uh, what are the main lessons that you'll learn from today going into next week when you go back home? Yeah, I will, look, we take out of the game today that when we did play the way we wanted to, we scored freely and, you know, we just, you know, through St Kevin's, you know, defensive structure, they didn't allow us to do that. But, you know, we've got to play the way we want to play 100% of the time. You know, we don't want to get into bad habits of yesteryear where we, we just bang the ball long up the line and, and hope for a, for a uh, fight all day long. It's not the way we want to play footy. It's not the way we set up to play footy. So it's more getting back to how we want to do it. And if we can do that for the majority of the minutes, I think we're going to be mm -hmm. a really good side. When we get away from that, today's results will happen a lot more often. Well, commiserations on the result today. But as always, thank you for your time. We'll look forward to seeing you next week. No worries. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Dom. Jared Gleeson here. Um, uh, after what truly was a, a clash of heavyweights today, a really good match at the top end of Premier Division. I have with me Guy Martin, the senior coach of St Kevin's Old Boys, and Jack Holden, star player today for St Kevin's uh, out there on the park. Guy, f firstly to you, um, look, the, uh, the, the opposition said uh, you didn't allow them to play the game they wanted to play. Was, what, what was the plan and how did you pull it off? Uh, yeah, well, they like to, the way they like to move the ball, we had a big emphasis on, on trying to stop that. They like to switch the ball, and so we had a big emphasis on sort of closing that. Um, maybe the, the conditions in the middle might have stopped them a little bit as well, halted them a bit, but, um, yeah, it was the same for both sides. So we, we, 
yeah, and this guy was massive in it. We, you, you just got to scrap. We had to fight. Um, had to make it a real physical, tough contest. And you know, I, I think that started in the midfield with Coatsy in the ruck, boys like Jack, um, Jared Gleeson, Josh Wallace. We, you know, they, they were so physical and, and sort of got the ball moving our way. And um, that went a long way to you know halting their sort of ball movement. There were quite a few phases in the game. I mean, you went out to a lead, they pulled it back. You went out to a five-goal lead, they pulled it back. At one stage, they might have even been a point in front. Yeah. So how were you coaching during those different phases? Uh, well, the, yeah, it was halfway through the third quarter. We got up by about five goals. I think it was 9-4 four to 4-4. Four, four, and um, I think we maybe got a bit of ahead of ourselves. The decisions with our ball in hand just went out of the window a little bit. I think maybe we thought, oh, maybe we're home and hosed here. And um, I mentioned that at three quarter time. We, we sort of went away from what we were doing in the first half and started playing perhaps not the way we wanted to. Uh, we mentioned that at three quarter time and you know, the fourth quarter went the way it did. Jack, to you, outstanding game, but um, you put the wind up a few supporters when you went off just before half time with what looked like it might've been a serious injury. What, what happened there? Yeah, I think the thumb just clicked in and out. So, um, Kim, our doctor, did a bit of a good job at half time, gave it a little jab. So, yeah, I can't really feel it now. I bet I'll be feeling it tomorrow, though. <laughs> it was a very consistent game. Your stats across the first half and the second half were very consistent. You must be pleased. You, you must be fit. I mean, I know fitness has been an issue for you in recent years. You must be fit, uh, fitness as in getting yourself on the park. So, yeah. uh, you must be pleased with how you're travelling. Yeah, no, nah, it's good to be back. I feel like I've just been building the last few weeks. So, yeah, I think I'm getting my running capacity capacity back and yeah it was just a good team win yeah, excellent and guy um look the, the team's been building I, I see that as the best performance so far this year what, what do you think oh without doubt um everyone has players out and you never have your full squad or t list or team available sorry your best 22 but to have eight changes from trinity last week you know we had a great win against trinity and then we've had eight changes today um you know some for some vfl all different reasons and it's not so much the personnel it's just that the the quantity of personnel to, to lose a, over a 30 side is massive so to it's pretty unsettling um and to overcome that I, that's why i put this as you know one of the the better wins over the last few years you know you, you take the finals and grand finals aside i mean today was was really one of the good ones against a quality opposition and i think it makes it uh that much better that we had 19 school boys so St. Kevin's boys in and then three country boys mm. that played with us today so it just makes the win a whole lot better. And with, with the amount of turnover, just finally, the amount of turnover of players, you must have a game plan that the, the, the players are all on top of that they can just slot into <laughs> at a moment's notice. Well I guess the, 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 the fortunate thing for us, most of the guys that, that are at VFL clubs and coming back and forth and whatnot have been involved. Uh, involved in the club the last two years so it's not completely foreign obviously uh, Kempe's new but apart from that and obviously Wait, but Waitie's training with us each, each session so um, we're pretty fortunate they're, they're not complete ring-ins they don't know what's going on they've played in flags um, they've played many games over the last couple of years so we're not um, yeah we're, we're fortunate in that regard uh, look we'd love to have them training together or every game or every sort of Tuesday Thursday um, but the nature of the beast it's just not going to happen so we're just going to make do but uh, we're probably not as, as bad off as um, some other clubs in that regard. Excellent. Uh, gentlemen, congratulations on a great win. Well Thank done. You. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.